George Travallo is a boxer who has won the heavyweight championship in Canada three times. Perhaps the fight that brought him the most fame was the whole 15-round fight he had with Muhammad Ali, the world heavyweight champion which took place at Maple Leaf Gardens on March 29, 1966. A famous quote attributed to Ali describes Travallo as the toughest guy I ever fought. During his career, Chivalo has a record of 73, 18, and 2, with 64 victories coming by knockout. As a result of the deaths of his wife and another son, as well as the deaths of two of his kids from drug overdoses, he has also been a strong champion against the use of drugs. Not only is Chivalo a member of the Order of Canada and the Order of Ontario, but he has also been inducted into the Sports Hall of Fame of Canada, the World Boxing Hall of Fame, the Ontario Sports Hall of Fame, and the Walk of Fame of Canada. Thus, keep watching this video to learn about the story of George Chivalo. His Beginnings George Chivalo, the son of Stephen and Katiksa, two Croatian immigrants, spent his childhood in the Junction neighborhood of Toronto, which is a working-class neighborhood. His mother was a chicken picker, while his father worked in meatpacking industries. Beginning at a young age, Chivalo began his boxing career, despite coming from a modest background. The adjacent St. Mary's Polish Roman Catholic Church served as his training facility, and he finally left the Earl's Court Athletic Club to pursue his own interests. His force and expertise were immediately apparent from the very outset. An impressive punch was delivered by the young man, which would later become his calling card. Through knockout in the first four rounds of each of his 18 contests as an amateur, he won 12 of those battles. Also, the bull-necked, iron-jawed Chivalo won the Canadian Amateur Heavyweight Championship by knocking out Peter Piper in the first round in a fight that took place in Regina, Saskatchewan. Chivalo was 17 years old at the time and stood 6 feet tall. In order to provide for his family, he decided to pursue a career in the professional sector rather than accept an invitation to compete for Canada at the Olympic Summer Games. Professional Career in 1956, Chivalo made his debut on the professional boxing circuit by competing in an elimination event. This event was sponsored by Jack Dempsey, a great boxer who had previously held the title of World Heavyweight Champion. On that particular evening, Chivalo competed in four fights and he won all of them by knockout. The entire amount of time he spent fighting was 12 minutes and 36 seconds altogether. Chivalo, who was just 19 years old at the time, won the title of Canadian Heavyweight Champion on September 15, 1958. The fight took place at Maple Leaf Gardens, where he knocked out James J. Parker in the first round. Also, his championship defense featured a win against Yvonne Durrell, a boxing legend from Acadia, which received a lot of media attention. After that, on August 17, 1960, at Delorimier Stadium in Montreal, Chivalo was defeated by Bob Clarou in a fight that ended in a controversial split decision. His subsequent fight was a rematch with Clarou at the Forum, which was much anticipated, and it was during this fight that Chivalo reclaimed the title of Canadian heavyweight champion. On August 8, 1961, the two fought each other in a trilogy battle in Montreal, where Chivalo lost the title to Clarou once again by way of a split decision. After being disqualified from his subsequent bout for headbutting his opponent, Chivalo left the ring entirely. In order to pursue a profession as a car salesman, he decided to resign from boxing. A few years later, he made his way back into the ring. Following his knockout victory against Hugh Mercier in Regina on March 18, 1964, he was able to claim the title of Canadian heavyweight champion for the third time. The championship remained in Chivalo's possession for the following 14 years until he finally retired in 1978, when he was 41 years old. His last match was held in St. Lawrence Market in Toronto, which was located in Canada. After three rounds, it was decided by a technical knockout, which was a fitting conclusion. During his career, he compiled a record of 73, 18, and 2. The most notable fights and competitors. Chivalo earned his way to a number of contests against some of the most talented boxers in the history of the sport, including five world champions, as his renown rose in Canada. These matches were an opportunity for Chivalo to showcase his skills. In the fight that took place at Madison Square Garden in New York City on February 1, 1965, Chivalo faced off against Floyd Patterson. After a complete 12 rounds of fighting, Patterson was declared the winner by a unanimous decision. This fight was awarded the title of Fight of the Year by Ring Magazine. In addition, the fight between Chivalo and Ernie Terrell, the heavyweight champion of the World Boxing Association, took place at Maple Leaf Gardens in November 1965 in front of a throng of Chivalo's local fans.
Once again, Chavala went the distance, but he was unsuccessful. The next fight was his most famous fight, which took place once again in front of his local fans, who came out in droves to witness Chavalo fight Muhammad Ali, who was the unbeaten world champion at the time. This fight took place on March 29, 1966. Chavalo achieved the stature of a hero by standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with Ali, who was 24 years old, throughout the whole of the fight's 15 rounds, despite the fact that he did not emerge victorious. Both of them delivered powerful punches to one another, but Chavalo did not back down. The judges decided that Ali should win the contest, but Chavalo's performance only served to enhance his reputation. When asked about Chavalo, Ali referred to him as the toughest guy I've ever fought. A rematch between the two took place in 1972 in Vancouver, and it was another fight that lasted the distance. In addition to world heavyweight champions George Foreman and Joe Frazier, Chavalo's list of opponents featured a number of other accomplished boxers. Chavalo, on the other hand, has said that the fight he had in 1968 against Manuel Ramos at Madison Square Garden was the most memorable of his whole career. In only five rounds, Chavalo was able to achieve a knockout win. I believe that he was rated fourth in the whole globe. I was able to eliminate all of the number fours, Chavalo said. I struggled with the ones, twos, and threes, he added. Family Tragedies Over the course of the years that followed Chavalo's retirement, his family life was continually marred by disastrous events. Following a motorbike accident, his youngest son Jesse developed an addiction to heroin in an effort to find comfort from the anguish he was experiencing. It was on February 18, 1985, when he was 20 years old, that he took his own life. Additionally, George Lee and Stephen, Chavalo's oldest kids, were heroin addicts and moved to petty criminality about the same time. Both of them were sentenced to jail in 1987 for attempting to commit a robbery. At the age of 30, George Lee was discovered dead in a hotel room in Toronto on October 31, 1993, having died as a result of an overdose. But that's not all. Lynn Chavalo, Chavalo's wife, passed herself in her own bed two days after the funeral, having taken an excessive amount of their prescribed medication. On August 17, 1996, the body of Chavalo's son Stephen, who was 35 years old at the time, was discovered in the apartment that belonged to his sister, Vanessa. Also, the death of Chavalo's granddaughter, Rachel Chavalo, from cancer occurred in the year 2013. Chavalo said, Losing her almost sent me over the edge in an interview with The Ring published in the newspaper. He said, The fact that she still had her whole life ahead of her made me adore her like crazy. She was younger than 30 years old. Post-boxing career After his career as a boxer came to an end, Chavala made a decision to devote his life to fighting against drug usage. He had seen firsthand the risks and possible outcomes that may result from extensive drug use. More than 1,000 presentations have been given by Chavalo to schools and youth organizations all around Canada as part of his campaign, which was called Fight Against Drugs. The Honours As a result of the strength and stamina he displayed during his many years in the ring and his inner strength and fortitude when faced with several family tragedies, Chavalo was inducted as a member of the Order of Canada in the year 1998. The unveiling of a statue of Chavalo, which was a life-size representation, took place in Lubuski, Bosnia and Herzegovina in the year 2011. When asked about the factors that contributed to his success as a boxer, Chavalo said that his short neck and a head made of Herzegovinian stone were the most important factors. If you're aware of any facts regarding George Chavalo that we have not covered, please share them with us in the comments section below. And that wraps things up. We appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Please hit the subscribe button and we'll see you in the next one.